you lovely humans welcome back to my channel I am so glad that you guys are here for another fun video Katie here and today we've got a couple things on the agenda so I hope that you will stick around through the whole thing I do have some Halloween decor hunting I wanted to share with you my mom and I actually got to go out on Wednesday August 4th I think and so we went to at home and we went to home goods and TJ Maxx and Michaels and Joann's so I have some footage from that that I'd like to show you because we did find some new things at at home um, one thing I absolutely loved so much I, I had to have it um, and my mother also picked me up something wonderful so I will be showing you that footage here in just a little bit um, but I also wanted to t open up a, I got a box in the mail from Bath and Body Works um, this is not one of the the pillars or anything like that I wasn't able to get lucky enough to get any of those through the online store drop but I did pick up an item that is an online only exclusive item and so that came in the mail today. I know people have been saying to not order stuff through their online store because people are having things come in damaged. Um, I did pick up the box and I shook it. I'm not hearing anything rattling around in there, which is always a good sign because I think that this is a glass piece. Um, and I feel like it, it sounds like it was packed pretty durably. So we're gonna open up that in just a moment. Um, but I first and foremost wanna give a quick shout out to my lovely friend Katie, who is the owner and kind of the woman who does it all at a local diner here in Toledo. Her name is Katie Crociata and she runs Katie's Diner. It's up on Souter Avenue, like kind of right before you get into Michigan, if you're familiar with the Toledo area. Oh, Toledo's right on the Michigan border, and so she's kind of right at the tip top um, in the Point Place, Shoreland area, which is also where I live. So my husband and I have been going to visit Katie for many, many years. Um, she opened up her diner right when my husband and I started dating, and so it was one of our first dates and it continues to be a very special place to us and unfortunately with covid we ended up stopped going because of all the stipulations and stuff going on and i did not handle covid very well i did not like going out of the house so um got into a habit of not going to visit her but katie is so wonderful and so important to me and um, she has become such a really good friend over the last couple years and so this morning my husband was off work he took a couple days off because typically uh, his days off are spent cleaning up around the house you know working outside and doing chores and things like that so we don't typically go anywhere on his days off but today we decided to go and just pick up some breakfast at Katie's diner and uh, so when we walked in Katie was like I have something for you she's so unbelievably thoughtful she said she saw the shirt and she thought of me so she picked it up so I am wearing this shirt today so it says feed me and tell me I'm spooky <laughs> It is obviously a long sleeve shirt. It's like a terry cloth um, feel to it on the underside of it. So it's kind of a lighter weight material, which is nice. So I feel like I can wear this a lot going into the fall months. Today is not as terribly hot as it's going to get. I guess the next couple days we're going to get into the hundreds. The good stuff couldn't last, obviously. I mean, uh, I am such a brat about summer weather I know it you know it could be so much worse I could be living in the desert somewhere I wouldn't though because they wouldn't have fall and I can't live anywhere that doesn't have fall weather um, but yeah so it's gonna be stinking hot and uh, I'm going to probably be a hermit for the next couple days so I also want to oh, my hair is looking funky so I want to go out to um, do a little bit of Halloween decor hunting today and hopefully find the last piece that I'm looking for at Bath and Body Works and uh, maybe just stay in for a couple days and stay out of the heat because I just I don't do well in the heat guys I don't know if you're new to my channel but I am I am a very pale skin person which you obviously can see uh, I have um, family that you know kind of immigrated from Ireland and Slovakia and Germany and Scotland and you know England so pasty people that like dreary weather uh, is my heritage so I don't like the Sun and the Sun does not like me uh, I do not tan I 
lobster and then it just fades away. So there's really nothing good about the sun <laughs> for me. I just look miserable. If I'm outside for two hours, it looks like I have um, a heat stroke. So like I said, I will not be probably going out and about for the next couple days. Or if I do, it'll probably be early morning trips just so I can get back before it gets to be hot. You know what I mean? So um, like I said, I want to see if I can get some stuff found today. And then if I can, then I won't have to worry about going back out into the sweltering for a couple more days. Um, but that being said, I did want to show you a couple things that I got. Like I said, I've got this box from Math and Body Works I'm going to open up now. And then I'm going to show you the, um, the trip that I took with my mom on Wednesday. And then I'm going to come back and show you the pieces that I bought. And uh, I guess we're going to go from there. So first up is the box from Bath and Body Works. This lovely little guy right here. Let me find my... So I did find my uh, my Halloween scissors. They are actually downstairs in my guest bedroom. I was working on my, my wedding scrapbook, and so I must have been using them for that, and I left them downstairs. And I have, again, left them downstairs. But at least I found them. I know where they're at now. I'm not too concerned about it at this point, but that's why we haven't had the uh, Halloween scissors to open stuff up. But... I'm too lazy to go down and get them now, so we're going to just use uh, the gold scissors for the time being. So, open this guy up and see how it looks. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not too concerned. Maybe I should be, but I'm trying to stay positive here. So, I got my invoice from my item that I purchased. Okay, and so they have it nice and boxed up. They've got this bubble mailer, and then they have it in its own separate box. So, that's really, really nice. So we'll go ahead and we'll open up this box, put the box in a little box, and then put that box in another box, and then I'll mail that box to myself. You know where that's from? I know my sister knows where that's from. It's one of her favorite Disney movies. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to look it up yourself. Okay, so then I've got this little piece of bubble wrap around the guy. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> so this is their soap holder for this year this little guy right here so it's got the year on it 2021 it's got these cute little pumpkin guys and planters and then it's got this little death head moth kind of look here and it does look like there's glitter all over the top of it and you can tell because there's glitter a little bit on the back of this guy, which I can just wipe off, thank goodness, because glitter is not my favorite thing um, to put on Halloween decor. I like a sparkle. I am a spooky bitch that likes the sparkle, but glitter gets on everything. And I know there were some people that were complaining about the, mo the moth, like the painting was coming off on the moth. Mine doesn't look too bad. So I'm pretty happy with that. I like the design on him overall. He's got a little teeny tiny bat here at the top of the, the little house. And then along the sides, there's some more spooky little things that are painted on here. Some of the uh, same little eyeballs that my, uh, my wallflower plugin has. So they're trying to incorporate the two, I think. So there's the conservatory wall plug that I got a couple weeks ago. And then here is the soap dispenser. So I am very, very happy with this. This is really, really nice and it will look very nice on my bathroom counter. And then the back, I don't think I showed you the back. The bath is, back has just got some IV that's kind of climbing up the side. And it's also got that bat insignia here up at the top. So and then you've got the bottom part of it. This one was $18.95 for your reference. And there we go. So I'm happy with him. He's not really shaped like their dispensers because, um, you know, they kind of have like that weird rectangular shape for all their soaps and their um, um, foaming hand soaps. So it's a little wide, so it'll be able to incorporate either one of them, but they won't be sitting in there snugly, um, kind of like I prefer, but that's okay. It could be a lot worse. I can put any hand soap in this. It doesn't necessarily have to be Bath and Body Works. So. I guess I like it for that reason. So I'm very happy. I'm very grateful that it came all in one piece because it is a ceramic piece. 
Um, so thank you Bath and Body Works for getting me my item in the uh, condition that I wanted it to be in. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the, um, the footage from my trip on Wednesday and then I'm going to come back and I'll show you the items that we picked up. Our next trip to at home. She loves Nightmare Before Christmas, yeah. Yeah. They're new too. Hmm. I really want, there's a set of crystals that I want. <laughs> it's got different colors too. I love it when they make me laugh. He looks. <laughs> He just looks so happy. <laughs> We're those assholes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, we don't have to do the whole spiel. <gasps> More new pillows. He's so cute. Another $15 pillow. That's not terrible, though really like that and then the back's got that like crushed it feels like a what is this mom like a suede is that what this is kind of no it's faux leather no, no no I don't know what to call that it's like a crushed felt crushed felt and I think All right. crushed felt more. look at this guy he looks like he's got like like a, a marquee sign yeah, lights all like around him. him he's super cute he is adorable Welcome well, I'm thrilled house. that they do. Every single time I come in here, Mom, every week they've got new stuff on the shelves. Oh, there's your spider one. I like him too. Spiders, yep. Got a couple more over here. Were these here yesterday? Um, the acorn one there? Yeah, I, well, this one on the bottom wasn't last no, time. I don't think this owl one up here was either. $25, though. The owl? Um, no. No, 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 oh, no. Adorable. Same thing on the back for him, too. That same yeah. material as the, as the bats one. Very sweet. I don't want to get you in the video if you don't want to be in the video, Mom. No. <laughs> You're like, don't, don't you dare. I'm trying to, I'm trying to place that. Yeah, but I mean, isn't it kind of a suede? It is kind of a suede. I, just I, like I a still, fake it's suede. It's awful thin. Yeah. That's why I'm thinking that's not the name, but okay. Ew, he's, he's so cute. He's a candle holder, or uh, candy? maybe a planter or okay. candy holder, yeah, maybe. Okay. I keep looking at these and going, yeah, I think I would put a pretty little succulent or something in it. Oh, that would be good. Wouldn't or that be adorable? A little rose bush. Ah, the teeny tiniest little rose bush. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really love that. Your placemats. Yeah. Those cork placemats, yeah. yeah. And my yeah, mercury sure glass stuff. No, I don't like the mercury. Well, and you're, they're probably going to have that snake head thing that I don't like too, so you'll really appreciate that. It's just freaking adorable. Isn't he cute? <laughs> I love all these guys. Seven bucks. I mean, that's not bad for no. these little guys. Uh, the uh, I haven't seen the unicorn before. No, I was gonna look for a. Um, <laughs> I know you don't know One Piece, but there's a skeleton guy. I really like that guy I do so too. much. He just looks beautiful. The details on him. And see, this is what I really love about at home is that like they don't really do like discounts or anything, yeah. but all the prices are pretty like reasonable, like yeah. right out of the gate. So I don't feel too bad about coming in and buying it right yeah, when it I comes out. Yeah, I have been to but you say that they're outrageous. Oh my God, Mom! Yeah, a sign. Oh, there you go. There's candles. Turn them upside down. Oh, he's a. Now that's a, that's a cool candle <laughs> for that candle. And he opera. bleeds. For that, bleeds, yeah. Oh, yeah. for that candelabra you saw the other day. Yeah, with the I wonder grief. if that's still here. I wish I would have picked would that up. That would be adorable. That would be cool. All right, let's go hunting. That's my biggest pet peeve is every time I come to this, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. I need to come up with a new word for something that looks nice. Amazing. <laughs> awesome. Incredible. Incredible. Awe inspiring. Happy Halloween. Isn't he cute too with yeah, the little cute. skull? I, I like this one better. He's simple. Mm-hmm. I like the simplicity of him. But he says it all. He does. Happy That's Halloween. a cute little spider yeah. too. Although he doesn't have, he has three pieces in his body and I don't think spiders have three pieces of their body. Oh, it depends on the spider. Oh, oh does it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking. I'm I don't know. I make stuff up as I go and it, and it sounds like it's a legit thing. Okay. Look at the foxy. Oh, Eric would like that. 
Aerith would Angel. love him. Oh, I would like him too. Or how about the Hey There Pumpkin one? Yeah. Welcome. That well, pink is not, not natural and I don't like no, it. I don't like it either. I don't like it. That green isn't natural either. Yeah, it's too like limey. Look at this cute little bobble one though. I haven't seen this guy before. I really like that one above. Oh, sure. Like that sign that you were looking at? Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, I don't know if I like blue. I don't like blue for a fall color. I've already said that in my videos before. I love that. I girl. like that. I like that wreath. Yeah, cool. yeah, he's super cute. I like this guy too. With oh, the, the box in the. Mm hmm. Oh, you effing How much is he? 17. That's not bad. That's a nice squirrel. Squirrely, squirrely. Squirrely's ten. Ten. <laughs> He's adorable. <laughs> but like, so I think the word adorable. This is gonna freak people out. These things like really mess with people for some reason. I don't know why they would put that on there, but what? I like it. The little honeycombed things. No, some like, people have a no, weird phobia really? of that. Yeah, <laughs> it's not weird. I mean, you, you're, you're afraid of what you're afraid of, I guess. But this is oh. not Halloween stuff. Why are you on an end cap for Halloween for? Shame oh, on planner, you. Planner. This uh, owl is oh, new. Yeah. and oh, this the hedgehogs. I think that's a hedgehog. I think you're right. I think that's probably a hedgehog. And then you've got the squirrel. Oh my god, is that a squirrel? <laughs> that's so funny. I, think so. I love him. Look at his little furry little belly and his yeah. ears. Oh my god. I, like I love that gourd. Every time I come in, I just kind of sit there and stare at it. Little teeny tiny mushroom. Ooh, These are cool. cute too. And then you got more of the blue. I just I just can't do it, man. They do that at Christmas time too. I don't understand why blue at Christmas. I mean everybody's got different motifs yeah, in their house. Because if you're not Christian, maybe that's a, a non-Christian color. Red, yes. orange, and yellow are Christian colors? No, no, no. Red and green are Christian, but they come out with blue, and I'm thinking maybe that's their way of saying. Oh, for like Hanukkah? Yeah, or something. He's cute. I'm telling you, every time I come in, he's, he's, he adorable. I gotta pick him up and stare at him for a couple minutes. <laughs> a little expensive, though. Yeah, and there's so working. many more uh, glass pumpkins and stuff down that way. That's cool. Yeah, he is neat. Just for putting maybe apples or something. I love these pumpkins so much. Yeah, I just ones. think he's so funky and cute, but gee whiz, 40 bucks. I know, for a pumpkin. It's hard. I can't yeah. do it. And I like the little maple leaf guy. Ooh. Isn't he cute? I'm surprised you haven't bought him. $12. That's not bad. Yeah, I know. There's a pile of things I could do with him. Oh, look at this guy over here. <laughs> His little arms. <laughs> I... Sorry. Sorry. So sorry. I didn't break anything. That's the important thing. You all you had to say I know. You're right Rhonda. here. I'm just so used to doing this by myself. Help me, Rhonda. Help, help. So me. I'm talking to an actual human today in the aisles of at home and not to myself. It's kind of nice. It's kind of different. Isn't that neat with the different know. colors? I don't know if I like this. Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Well, you that's okay. You don't have to like it. I don't like that. I do like it. Oh yeah, this Halloween hoedown collection is weird, man. Some things is that that? Oh, yeah. are cute, and some things I'm like, what? Why? Like these these skeleton guys. What just? Why was why was that a, a thought that they were like, you know what we should do? We should make skeletons look like country bumpkins. I think they're kind of cute, though. <laughs> no, mom, no. <laughs> this is cute for twenty four ninety nine. That's a cute little wreath. I know because I turned you around to make you look at the uh, at the funny little skeletons coming out of the pumpkin. Oop. These are nice. Those are nice. Rob would like that because they're all one design. Well, I feel like I sometimes... would like that too. And it's a color that if you spill something on it... Yeah, I kind of like will blend in. Yeah. Unless it's like pop or something, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always hot He's and cold. Ten. I'm hot and cold with the the uh, gnomes, gnomes because there's so many of them. But the ones that are really cute, man, 
Oh, look at the teeny tiny flat pumpkin. Oh, he, now you can afford him. <laughs> I certainly can. The little hedgehog is super like cute with the oak leaves. Oh, he's new too. Yeah, see, there's quite a few things over here that are just making it to that my shelves. Mm, I don't care for that so much. Too small. Like what? I mean, what even would you do with this that? This is the same style as that other. I like the copper um, pumpkin. He's cute. Fourteen, fifteen bucks for this guy. Come on, really? Well, he's a nice resin. Look at the little pumpkin cart. He's cute. Could you find a? Oh, it's thirty nine ninety nine on this guy. That is so sweet. It would be a nice planter. A planter, a planter. or you can put teeny tiny pumpkins no, in it. I'd put it outside and put some mums or something in it. Plant some mums. Oh, that would be but super it says cute. Pumpkins, twenty five cents, so you'd almost have to put little baby pumpkins in it. You could just be ironic, you know. Oh, I'm tell why that helps. Pumpkins. Just kidding. You get what you get. There's a nice little wreath. Okay. I like I that like one. That one. That's not very expensive. No. I like that one. He's it's too durable. Thick for my door, though, I think. Oh, probably, yeah. Look at this guy. He's cute. <laughs> what is he made out of? Like little old the seeds? Seed, seed pods? pods? Yeah. This is so sweet. Oh, the brown bears. <laughs> is that a bunny? That's a squirrel. That's a squirrel. He's just got Where's a fuzzy that? face. She does. She does. She has she, a dress ex on. Oh, excuse me. Excuse mm -hmm. me, mother. Mm -hmm. It could be a boy. You could just like wearing dresses. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah. That's cool. a cool new pumpkin too. These copper ones are new. Oh. Okay. No. UPC code on that one. Oh, Forty dollars. Man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Love him. Love him. Love him. I like this. One. He's so sweet. He's sweet. Bad, no, it's bad. not bad at all. At least he looks good. Would you like a squirrel sailing down the river with Tom Sawyer or Huck Finn? Oh, yeah. Mine literally just broke two days ago. I need Your to probably servers? get, yeah, like this portion of the leaf server. Like really? it got bent in my in my drawer oh, and no. the end popped off. So Love this. I think that's so pretty too. We'll wait. We'll wait. I don't think leaf servers are going to be like the running thing for people to come you to at home for. for oh no, 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 no! Don't you worry about that. Well, if you need one, if the one's broke, you can't really use it, now can you? I mean, I can just scoop. Oh God! <laughs> you turn on. Well, <clears throat> I think no. that there's one of those things you got to pull out of his. No, not that. One. No. Okay. Maybe it is just where you have to put in the, they don't have a, a try me, so maybe you just need to put the batteries in it. Oh, you know what? You're probably right. Yep, yeah, no batteries. Yep, yeah, I'll do it. Lights up. And they're probably smarter to do that because by the time you get the try me home, they're all... Well, yeah, they're all already used they're up and there's them. one left of that guy. Oh, damn it. I just wish this guy wasn't so expensive. He's like $35. And you can find a place to put it. Well, that's the thing. Like I said, I have nowhere to really like yeah. display that right yeah. now. Same thing I with all of this really stuff. I like the 3D effect on nah. it. <laughs> she goes, nah. It just looks. I don't understand why they thought they were going to do jewel tones oh, for Halloween. The kitten's cute. I like the detailing on him. He looks like he's got a little and really, hair. Really, do we have to have the snake? That snake is terrifying. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't understand. Dad made me look at that one that you saw out there at Mommy. Back at Joanne's. I love this sign so much. Everything is currently at the store 30% off. This is normally uh, 60. So we'll find the sign that tells you how much things actually cost. Spooky vibes only on a sign. We've got some bath towels, some really cute doormats. 
happy Halloween one. And there's that spooky vibes only again. These mats are $24.99 here. And I really love this cute one shaped like a ghost that says boo to you. Just this size still? Yep. Oh, bummer. Like this pillow is $50. It's $49.99 for a pillow. What is it on sale? Uh, what, what does it matter? The fact that they decided yeah. to put it out at $50. Well, that's the way it came in. They don't have a choice. I'm saying whatever retailer looked at that and said, hey, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put it at such a jacked up price that people will have to wait for the sales. Actually, that October 31st is freaking cool. I like that. I think the cake stand's pretty cool. $30. The pumpkin, in this case. the pumpkin stand, yes, absolutely. Okay. I don't know what this is. I can't tell what this is. An apron? Yeah, oh, okay, it's an apron. That's cute. So here are the pricing for our sale here today. I really love this guy. He is $40. So happy. Sweet little pumpkin faces. We've got that Something Wicked This Way Comes pillow. I love that. I'm a big fan of that movie though, so I think that that's part of why I like that so much. And this guy is 60. He's $59.99. I get the prices, guys. I do. I get it, but like, I don't understand why they have to rely on a sale. Just seems kind of lame to me. Love the seance table look of this. Of this table. Table decor. It's called tablecloth, Katie. That was the word you were groping for just now. Oh, Lord. And that's it for Halloween. Everything else is the fall vibes. All of those towels are $10 a piece. And then you've got more fall decor. It's weird to me when people say my name and they're not talking to me. Okay. Oh my gourd. I love fall. Fall decor. Fall decor. Mm, well. Florals up the wazoo. Florals, 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 florals. There's those wreaths. I'm going to see if they've got my wreath. There's some carvable pumpkins. There's some Halloween stuff over here. That's nice. Wasn't expecting to see that. Little candy corn wreath. That's interesting for uh, $50, of course. $50. Super sparkly. Everything is super sparkly. No. Picks. Are they out of my wreath already? They moved everything around from the last time I was in here. There's a few more fall items. Fall ribbons. Aspen or birch leaf. Hmm. Fall, sweet fall. Everything just looks so like thrown in here. 
I don't know, it feels very chaotic. I'm not so much a fan. Interesting. <coughs> There's that plate again I really like. So, currently $59.99 with 30% discount. We'll keep looking around, but that's looking like it so far. Still the same placemats and tablecloths and napkins, and plates. And then we've got that. I still really like her with the pot holder on the back for, you know, $35. face. <laughs> okay. It's hmm. cute. Oh, I love these. Spider. You've also got some glow in the dark bandanas. Also got little a bat headband. <laughs> that one's sweet. Oh, she's very cute. You gotta walk around the store, Mom. They don't shove everything up at the front. Okay. Well, I would think they would. The advertisers got it. No, they want you to come in the store. Cute bowl. Yeah. See, it's nice and big and durable. I would love that. But I, like I said, I'm not a Nightmare Before Christmas fan, so I don't want to take that from somebody. Well. I like that cute little felted pumpkin. That's cute. cute. Yeah. And the give thanks box. Oh, of course it's Ray Dunn. Of course it is. I like the boo ghost. <laughs> the boo ghost is adorable. I love a boo ghost. Oh, look at the uh, Sanderson sisters. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, Katie, you gotta get this. <laughs> I don't have any room for more cups and... It's not a bad price at all. Like that's why I really love coming into. This could be my drink. I think that maybe that needs to become a thing. Mom, <laughs> that's adorable. I love that. I want to see what this guy looks like. Oh, of course it's another 
another um, gnome. I was wondering if it was a... He's kind of funny looking. With his bat wings for 25. I saw that when I was here the last time. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea. It's just like a little diorama, right? I guess. It's called the Ginger Cottages. And this is in there probably so it doesn't... It's probably protecting something. I didn't move it the last time I was in, but I'm like, I don't know what it is. Exactly. The witch was painted. Houses are cool. Aren't those neat? Those are neat. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this they one. had a, like a Frankenstein's Castle one. And they've got the Dracula's Castle one. Tell of horrors. Yeah. Very cute stuff. Yeah, I like the hand bowl. The last time I was in uh, at the M Monroe Street one, I think that it was like broke off. So you could just oh. grab the, the bowl out of it. So they must not be very durable. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yep, it should last me a little while. I drink alcohol I out of the like Winnie the Pooh. The stands of these guys and drink alcohol. I like that Hocus Pocus one, Ma. I thought that was pretty cool. I There's a too. couple of them I back really there like too. That Hocus Pocus one. And here it is. Gather around, oh, sisters. These are nice little bowls. Oh, good bowls. It just says happy Halloween, Halloween on it. Yeah. But yeah, so they, th this happens all the time where you'll find just a random cart. So they just cart. put this stuff out yet? Yeah. Okay. And a couple more pumpkins up it. there. I really love these Mickey and Minnie set. I think that's so cute. Oops. Random keychain. And I really like her. Look at how pretty she is. She comes with a random little skull for $3.99. And it's a double side. So she's on both sides of the mug, which is always awesome. Hmm. It's a big hearty bowl from Martha Stewart's collection for $35. It's really cute. They did, and maybe what they've had is sold. Love this skull. So beautiful. Wow. Okay, guys, we are back, and uh, I'm going to show you the items that I did pick up. I think you kind of figured it out from the video um, but I'm going to show you anyway kind of show you them up close and in person uh, I only picked up items really from at home and the only item I picked up at home goods was 
the coffee that I found. So I got two boxes of the maple flavored coffee that I was just talking about in my last video. My mom and I were laughing about it. I'm like, they must have heard me or watched my video and were like, Katie's gonna come in and she wants this coffee. So obviously we gotta put it on the shelves. So I got two boxes of it. Uh, maple is funny for me. Maple feels more of a fall flavor than anything else. Even sometimes pumpkin spice. Like I, when I am, you know, in uh, April and I am missing the fall season, my go-to is anything maple flavored. That brings me right back to a feeling of fall comfort. And so I'm really happy to add those to my, my collection and um, I'm gonna use them sparingly just so I can, you know, like I said, kind of really relish the fall season <laughs> throughout the year. And I'm kind of a, I'm kind of bummed that they're the K-Cup version. I wish it was just the ground variety, but these K-Cups are nice because they do have the, um, the mesh cloth bottom, which is biodegradable. And then they are, you can peel them apart and they're um, recyclable that way. So I don't feel so bad about using those K-Cups because all the other ones I feel like they just go into a landfill. So um, that's one good, good thing about these K-Cups. But uh, the items I picked up otherwise were from at home and you probably figured out which ones I got from the video, but I am gonna show you them in detail today so you can kind of see what they look like up close, uh, especially one of the items um, because you couldn't really see exactly what it looks like. I got this little ghoulish garden guy. So this is the uh, eyeball dusty roses. And uh, I just think it's really cool. I think it looks kind of industrial, but it looks, you know, like it could fall into Target's ghoulish garden line. And I just think it's really, really fun. I like the the um, planter it's sitting in because it also matches the planter for this guy that I picked up from Old Time Pottery. So these guys look like they could be, you know, friends in the ghoulish garden. But this guy also lights up and you don't have an opportunity to see that in stores because there's no try me button. They just require the batteries in the bottom. So I came home, popped in the batteries and I wanted to show you what it looks like. So he does light up with just like an orangish yellow light and you can kind of see the uh, eyeballs, how they kind of glow if I can get this to focus and this. But they're really nice. It puts out a nice, decent amount of light. Uh, it's not kind of like overpowering, like it's not blinding you, but it is still a nice, soft glow. And the eyeballs themselves are kind of focusing. This guy's focusing off this way, and this guy's kind of looking off in this direction. So basically, you can't outrun this guy. He'll see you no matter where you go. But I just think he's really, really cute, and he goes, like I said, really well with my, my new guy. And I have one piece from the Ghoulish Garden that I picked up last year. Uh, you probably saw it in my uh, Halloween decor videos from then. But I'll see if I can find a picture of him and I will post him here so you can get a general idea. But uh, he's down in my storage. I don't keep all of my Halloween decor items out because if I kept them all out, I would literally have no room for anything and my husband would probably divorce me. So. I don't have him readily available to show you, but like I said, I'll go downstairs, find him in my, my uh, holiday box, and I'll, I'll show you what he looks like. But I also picked up, um, you probably saw me pick him up on my last trip in, um, it's the Baba Yaga chicken foot. This guy right here. So I did put a taper candle in him, so I'll show you that in a second. But this is the guy who's in the Halloween hoedown line. Some people were saying it looks like a raven's foot but since it's in the hoedown line, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably supposed to be a chicken foot. And I'm just calling it the Baba Yaga chicken foot because if you know the Baba Yaga folklore, and I don't know if you go, if everyone does, she's not super popular for whatever reason. Um, but Baba Yaga is a Slavic witch uh, and her mythology and lore kind of talks about how she stays with her house. Her house moves around with her everywhere she goes and it is built up on these chicken feet. So it's like, it looks like it's on stilts, but it's chicken feet. It's really kooky and I, I really love her. I love her story. She's kind of portrayed as either a healer medicine woman um, or some people take the, uh, you know, eats children route and she's this nasty rotten character. Uh, I did actually buy a Slavic witchcraft book and I'm hoping that they go a little bit into detail about Baba Yaga so I can get a little bit more um, focus from, you know, the 
the nationality that it in the you know history that it comes from so I don't know if you guys would be interested but I could do a video about Baba Yaga if uh, that sounds like something you'd be interested in after I kind of look up a little bit more of her history and lore but my family comes from you know uh, Slovakia Hungary Romania Ukraine area so I have history from that area that I am trying to look deep into I also have roots in Ireland and Scotland and England and Germany um, but currently I'm really focusing on those Slavic type roots and so I'm very happy that I have that book I'm gonna read up and see what I can find out and like I said if you're interested you know write in the comments below and I will uh, do a quick video uh, and let you guys know about who Baba Yaga was and all that good stuff so uh, the taper candle I picked up was the uh, skeleton guy but he looks like in his face he looks like um, Munch's scream painting do you guys know what I'm talking about I'm pretty sure you do, but I'll put a picture of it right here so you have a reference. But that's what he looks like with him holding his head like that. And uh, he is a bleeding candle, so he will bleed this red wax when he gets when he gets lit up. So I'm <laughs> very much looking forward to seeing him. I already put him in the in the candle holder, and he was kind of wobbly in there. So I ended up burning the bottom of the candle and then just um, putting it in there and letting the wax harden again. So he's kind of stuck in there. Taper candles are tough sometimes. You get some that are either too big and they won't fit into the candle holder, or sometimes they're just a little too small and they wobble around. And a candle wobbling around is terrifying, so I make sure that I get them securely locked in place before I, I light him. So I'll probably even end up getting a plate to stick the chicken foot on, just so, so when he starts dripping the wax that it doesn't get everywhere. I don't know exactly what he's going to do, but... I don't need to make a mess and I'll, he'll probably end up going over onto my altar so to avoid any issues we'll probably have to go do that um, but the third item that was received from at home my mom actually bought this for me because I kept walking over to this item and picking it up and oogling over it and putting it down and then picking it up and going oh my god it's so pretty and then putting it down and my mom was like oh my god just I'm gonna buy it we're gonna buy it <laughs> because she loves me so much um so we picked up this beauty right here oh. look at the face look at the details on this guy the holes for the eye sockets are really quite deep and they are painted so that they do have that really dark um, kind of ominous look to him so same thing with the the nasal cavity and then I really love the base that he is sitting on it's so beautifully decorated with the roses and the bottom also has these padded feet so he's not slip sliding all over the place when you stick him down on a surface he stays in place which is also really nice but he is listed as a planter so he probably can fit a six inch pot I would say pretty easily um, or you know what you could use this as a candy holder you know on Halloween you can put your candy in there and have the kids take their candy out of this guy I think that that would be really pretty but I think I'm gonna go and see if I can find a mum to put him in him I don't really see red mums so I may get maybe like a purple one I think a purple mum would look really pretty with the red roses um, or maybe yellow I don't think orange orange might clash a little bit but definitely like a purple or I think a yellow would look nice in him but I'm so thrilled to have him and I couldn't believe how many they had I mean you saw I, I took some footage of it there were probably about 11 of them in stock and it, that was two days ago so hopefully if you stop it at home in the next couple days they will still have a couple available um, if they're not there I would maybe check back the following Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday morning because at home always gets their trucks Monday night into Tuesday morning so usually they spend Tuesday looking through the truck and getting everything put on the sales floor so by Wednesday usually everything's out so that's my recommendation if you go and these guys are not there um, I had not seen this on a visit to at home just this recent one is when I found him so he's so cool he's so unbelievably cool and he's like life size I mean that's <laughs> he's so great I love him so that is in a nutshell what I got on my my most recent trip to at home 
and like I said I'm gonna head out see what I can find today if nothing then this will just be the end of the video if I do find something I will go ahead and tack that on to the very end here and uh, show you what I find but I will see you guys in my next video